Sears and Roebuck and Company. Funny, now that they're gone. Vincent Price believed in them in the 60s, so we can trust him now, right? Right. Very 60s. Is he gonna, oh, there he is, okay. I thought he was just gonna poof in a puff of purple smoke and just be there. Perhaps some of you are wondering what I'm doing carrying around a stepladder. Well, let me ah, show you. He knew exactly what I was gonna say. That Sears is starting a, a department, a section of fine arts. Why? Yeah, fine art at a fucking mall. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, totally. That's like getting caviar from Walmart. Right. And ask me if I would be interested in making a collection. That side tells me everything. Yep. <laughs> no, but I want the money. This is like Michael Caine in Jaws the Revenge. Right. And no shade, but call it what it is. It's call a spade a spade. We're not talking Wilford Brimley with diabetes, but you know. <laughs> and suddenly I was presented with the opportunity to- A quote, opportunity. The opportunity to make more money. Make it rain a bit this bitch. You, 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 dollar dollar booze, y'all. Actually, I'm doing this so it will allow me to make more William Castle movies. What the customers like, what they are like. I like pictures of cats. I like boobs. I mean, I think that's an across the board thing that you could get behind with most folks. I mean, my wrist is, is resting very comfortably on a set of Elvira's. Nice. Elvira mouse pad. Oh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you know what? I think Vincent Price should have one of those, too. I agree. Like, if he would have been around, I feel like he would have had a good one like that as well. Oh, yeah. I don't, he probably doesn't need it with how, like, eloquent he is and how dapper he is. He probably gets poon every day, multiple times a day. And that mustache alone would give you all the poon you'd need, really. He could read the fucking telephone book and women would be wet. Oh, yeah. Now, I feel that an awful lot of people suffer under two misapprehensions about art. Number one is that it is not available to them. No, unless it's a crappy reproduction you pick up at a at a uh, swap meet. Yeah, and art does cost a shit ton. And why the fuck would somebody go to a museum and stare at things they don't absolutely understand at all? Be at home and play a video game or watch porn. Like what? Why would I do that? It's free. Well, I mean, to some people, I think art is porn. You know, it's like, oh my god, look at that breaststroke! Oh my god. Those pretentious fucks. <laughs> I can't take any of them seriously. Art is the visual experience of man. You know what? I understand the words that are coming out of his mouth, but I'm not really buying it. And it's pretty hilarious with context of now and the whole AI bullshit that's going on. Okay, Vinci baby, we love you dearly. But is it possible to see some of the things that you're going to be uh, hawking for us? Yeah, can we get to the the chase? In your Sears collection, in the Vincent. Oh, he thought there was going to be a camera change there. Yep, absolutely. That stool is probably very uncomfortable as well. Yeah. Or yeah. a ladder. Yeah. Why did they give him a ladder and why not? You could have given him a fucking chair. Well, I suppose they were trying to pull the joke of, hey, I was out hanging art. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at me. Why is it so tiny? That's what she said. <laughs> such a big frame for such a tiny piece of art. Oh, it's about the negative space. You have to absolutely picture the negative space, man. That's so obtuse. But I was trying to be acute. Oh, God. I don't feel that a work of art is necessarily just a hand-painted oil on canvas. You know what? It's better when you uh, hand-paint oil on somebody's body. Right. I mean, painting on the boobies is better than just looking at them and painting the boobies. Very much in vogue at the moment. Oh, wait. Did he say start voguing? <laughs> okay. Oh, man, he said en vogue. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, you know, en voguing could have been the precursor to voguing. Or he's telling us it's in a magazine. Also true. All right. And it's a terrific value. Almost as good a value as Sears stock. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh. No. Why does that look like a butt? What is that? It looks like a demon. Oh, dear God. Yeah, well, I told you, demon. Yeah. No, I agree. It's mid-transformation. His picture by... A local artist in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, I do enjoy a good Chicago. Is it is it like a like a Chicago hot dog? Because I'm kind of hungry for one. Or a Chicago pizza. Yes, thank you. Also good. Very good. Is it cubbies or socks? Or bears maybe? Don't don't even get me started about with bears. Too many women want to go meet them in the woods. Baldur's Gate Three has corrupted the minds of the layman. 
you know, you, you could have actually done like a straight on shot of the thing so we could not have the shadow and stuff. Yeah, or get closer so we can actually fucking see it. Yeah. Because you have to think, if you're doing it on a 12 or 14 inch TV, that's going to be tiny. You ain't seeing nothing. Oh, thank you for at least zooming in so we can see it. Yes. You know what would have added to that particular print? Having the bird actually eating the bug. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, I know, right? Because nature is metal. These pictures, first class prints by the great girl. You know what? I feel like he's trying to sell us on it, but he doesn't believe it. Yeah. It's like very half assed. Yeah. He's phoning it in. Yeah. Did you ever see those um so or those starving artist sales that they used to have at like hotels and shit? Yes. I feel like that most of this shit would be there. I believe most of this would be at a swap meet. In selling a work of art is to have respect for the customer's taste. Or lack of taste. No about right. That for me has been one of the great excitements in putting this collection together. Here's the thing. I would be more interested to know why that piece spoke to him. Maybe it's the voices in his head telling him about it. Possibly. Maybe they reminded him of his previous movies. Right. Like this one could remind him of The Tingler. I mean, it's not really, uh, you know, House on Haunted Hill level to me. But maybe. Um, definitely not. No. Nah. Maybe House of Wax. There you go. I like that. I like that. It's not even centered. Nope. Ah! <laughs> Triggering my OCD. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have to make it small and you can't even center it. No, ah. exactly. And they probably charge in a couple thousand dollars for it. Probably. Here is the price, and I have the Vincent price and the Ha ah, he said it. It ha it's the Vincent price. Ha ha. <laughs> Funny. Ha ha. <laughs> This is one of the greatest names in the history of art, if not the greatest name. It is a name that everybody knows, a name you don't have to explain at all. One you don't have to explain it all, but you have to say it in a thousand words or more. All right, Vincey baby, we need you to stretch this out to at least 18 minutes. We have to hit the algorithm. Someone in the 60s goes, oh, what is the algorithm? It's the thing that rules your life. Worship it. You must sacrifice a goat to it every week. I can't see a damn thing that's so muddled. It's open to interpretation. It's what do you see in it? I can't see anything, so it don't matter to me. It's like a, a what was it, magic eye? Can you see the sailboat? Because I can't see the sailboat. <laughs> if you see a rabbit, you're a left brain. If you see a bird, you're a right brain. She takes it off the wall and she pays for it and takes it home. And that, believe me, is a great benefit to the collective. Are you sure about that? Hey, you didn't put it back straight, you dick. Oh my god, he didn't. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Vincent, baby. This is a real work of art. A very exciting picture, decorative, serious. Are they are they screwing a cut open fish? I think so. No, they're summoning the demon. They're summoning demons and summoning Satan himself. Has to be. Yeah, well, I mean, for art, anyone that's gonna like that particular piece of art is definitely summoning Satan. If you have a fi if you have a guy that is a fisherman and enjoys demons, this is the perfect print for you. And I hope that over the years you all will come to see art as I see it. I don't know if I want that, Vince, and I genuinely. I think I'm good. I'll stick to random horror posters. Thanks very much. Yep, I'll stick to this plate. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Vincent. You're a class act, man. Thanks for letting us make fun of you. Yeah, exactly. We love you, man. Special thanks to Madam Hellfire for joining me. Make sure to check out her channel for all things macabre. Her links are in the description. Thanks so very much for watching.